You wanna hear something weird? I'm 18 and have been for like several months now. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And for my 18th, I had a costume party because, I mean, come on, it's like the only interesting thing about me. And anyway, uh, I dressed up as Bruno and here's me making it. So, to start everything off, I need to make a new pattern. You know, since Bruno and most of the boys from part 5 wear a suit, sadly my simple shirt and pants won't work. To make the new pattern, I just fitted my old school jacket as if it were a suit. I tried my best to make it so that it would have that sort of slim waist that Bruno has, which pretty much just means I made the waist as tight as possible while having the shoulders and this bit be a little bit loose. Though to make the sleeves, I just used this video. So, if you want to know how to make them, just go watch that, because I'm not even going to try and explain how to make those. Anyway, after everything was fitting the way I wanted it to, I then cut it all up and turned it into a paper pattern. And after cutting the pattern out and pinning everything together, I did a little bit of sewing. And after all that, I tried something that, frankly, I should have been doing for a very, very long time. Something that would have made most of my cosplays just a little bit nicer. I ironed all the seams. And there we go, so far it's looking pretty damn good. I then made up some nice lapels and added them to the jacket. I then also added the sleeves. Okay, so as you've probably noticed by now, I've been using binder clips to hold the jacket together, but sadly that's not going to work in the long term, so I added these things. In the anime, Bruno uses a zipper there, but I didn't notice that till now, so um, shit. Anyway, after painting it wide, I then added this nice golden button. And can I just say, for a first attempt, this buttonhole is f***ing amazing. The, anyway, now that the base of the jacket is done, we can move on to the zippers. While doing research for the video, I found that there's sort of two main ways that the zippers were done. The first way was to just add the zippers, which is nice, it's very subtle though. And the second way was to sort of give the zippers a sort of outer lining, which I think looks way better, so that's what I'm gonna do. But first I need to paint some pleather gold, because buying gold pleather sounds expensive. And while all that's drying, I'm gonna start cutting out all the zipper holes. So after pinning and hand sewing all the straps in, I noticed that some of the paint started flaking off. Turns out I used the wrong gold paint. Easy fix though, I just had to repaint the whole thing with the right stuff. Alright, now for the fun part, actually adding the zippers. And just, oh my god, just... Oh, oh, it looks so good. Oh my god. But I bet just adding those last few details will just... Oh my god. Holy sh**, that is... That is beautiful. And after just a little bit of cleanup, it's uh, it's all done. The jacket for Bruno is complete. So the wig I bought didn't come pre-cut, so let's just hope that hairdressers just make their job look difficult. So after placing it on my head mount and sort of separating the fringe bit, I started cutting the fringe. Apparently it's supposed to sort of cut in this sort of upwards position, but after a while I just sort of started cutting it straight. And, um, I guess it looks okay. It, it'll do for now, I guess. But, um, it made a hell of a mess. And after a little bit more sewing and a bunch of other repetitive shit, I've also made myself a pair of pants. So, um, yeah, that's it. Bruno is done. So there we go. That's another project that I'm actually pretty happy with. I, I think I did a pretty good job. Although the shoulders are a little bit stiff. You know, it's sort of too tight around there, so... Flexibility is not as great as I'd like, but... Other than that, it looks great, and it feels great for the most part, I guess. Alright, get out of here, you rapscallion.